Good Thursday morning, everybody, live and direct from out and about in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik on a beautiful morning, a little bit on the warm side, a little bit more sultry out here than it has been in a while as more moisture makes its way up from the Gulf of Mexico. Could be a very strong day for storms out across portions of the mid Plain states. We'll take a look at that forecast coming up here in just a little bit. If you've never joined us before, welcome to our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. This is your opportunity to keep up to date on what's going Going on with weather in and around the Mid-South. Check out the website up there above my head at wreg.com slash weather for more. Forecast, if you have not had a chance to check it out or can't stay for the whole thing, read all about it in the blue bar down here. Social media stuff, icons up here, icons over there, or information down here. Websites available in the red bar at the bottom of the screen. Rest of the day today, again, should be relatively quiet starting things off, but as of right now, we're seeing again Little, if anything, on radar just past 8 o'clock this morning. We will see more chances of rain as we get into the rest of the day. Zooming up by just a little bit, we have a few sprinkles over toward Jonesboro, Fisher, Desarc, and down toward around Little Rock. But most of that is, again, very light and continuing to make its way back up to the north and to the east. So it's not really that much of a threat to us. But if you are heading up I-55 or know somebody who's coming down from St. Louis, you may run into a few of those showers between New Madrid down towards Steele, up around Cape Girardeau. That's going to be about the main thing that we're going to be looking for throughout the rest of the morning. More chances of thunderstorms into this afternoon. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Storm system that is making its way toward us is going to be bringing in a lot of energy. This thing is sitting over the Plain States, back toward the Rockies, around the Great Basin. That's that big swirl of energy that you see up there making its way out into the Plain States. As it gets off the Rockies and moves down into the Plain States, it gets a lot more room to maneuver. It gets a lot more in the way of room to spread out, and that means more energy, and that means the possibility of a lot more energetic weather. That's exactly what they're going to be seeing in this part of the country as this next storm system begins to head its way through. Most of the the energy of this thing as it stretches from around the Four Corners area all the way back up to the Great Lakes. Most of it should be missing the Mid-South, heading away from us, but it does not look like we're going to get so lucky as to get uh, all the chances of showers and thunderstorms removed from the forecast. So we'll be watching that again with a lot of interest throughout the course of the rest of the day today. What exactly are we looking at? Well, the good news at this time, little if anything happening in the way of severe weather. We had a couple severe thunderstorm warnings last night as those storms popped up over northeast Arkansas. This morning, the green that you see on the screen indicates where the flood warnings are still in effect. We'll take a look at river levels coming up here in just a little while. Earthquakes in the Mid-South. We do not see anything in the way of major problems out there where we had earthquakes uh, again the last couple of days we did manage to pick up a couple of good ones around the area of the new madrid fault line back around areas just underneath the mississippi river on tuesday and then also on monday into tuesday or sunday into monday uh, around seven o'clock eight o'clock in the morning on sunday if you felt either of those large 3.0 plus earthquakes definitely want to report that back to the uh, Center for Earthquake Research and Information, but otherwise nothing immediate showing up on the radar in the course of the last 24 hours. More information again available from CERI or from the United States Geological Survey. If you'd like to see more about what's going on around the world where it comes to anything in the way of earthquakes, this is where you go to to get information and a great opportunity to report back to the USGS. Citizen Science, you can help out study all kinds of things like earthquakes by just reporting your information out there. Likewise, you can be a National Weather Service Skywarn spotter and help people stay ready for severe weather. Strong thunderstorms, again, according to the National Weather Service into and around the area of north of I-40. And that's about where they were yesterday as that storm system and the main energy is going to be going north of us. There's going to be more chances of showers and thunderstorms. Paris, Dyersburg, Tiptonville, the Boot Hill, Jonesboro, Blytheville, Harrisburg, and Arkansas, and back across Tennessee. That's going to be the main area. Down across Oxford, Tupelo, Corinth, Clarksdale, south of I-40 in the metro area, probably not going to be seeing too much of anything at least at this time when it comes to more severe weather out there. More from the National Weather Service in Memphis. Go to weather.gov slash MEG for more information there. Clouds across much of the area this morning. We are getting some blue skies out across the Mid-South, as you can see from our Windy Country Club camera, uh, looking at the area around southeast Memphis. A few golfers out and about, but there's no rainfall to worry about, and therefore no thunderstorms either, so definitely good news on that. Mississippi River continues to fall over the next about maybe 24 hours 
hours. We should be looking at uh, definitely decreasing river levels out there. The Tunica River Park is looking at moderate flooding, but it is going downward. So good news, it has already peaked at about 47.84 and will continue to work its way on downwards as we go through the next few days. But it's going to be next Saturday before it gets out of anything involving flood stage. That's that huge wall of water making its way downstream. And that's, again, past the Memphis area, heading away from much of the Mid-South down toward the Gulf of Mexico. What does Memphis look like? Well, again, good news. We are on the back side of this. The problem is this next storm system coming on through might be giving us the potential of some more problems and maybe adding to the river level. So this forecast that you're looking at here could quite possibly change going back upwards again a little bit as we add more water to the situation. Now we're just again not seeing much of anything out there. Things are quiet across much of the Mid-South, so we do not see anything in the way of uh, major amounts of problems out there with any chance of rainfall taking place for right now. But we still see that potential problem coming up with this storm system into the mid plain states, making its way on through. Flash flooding, the main problem in the red hatched area around Kansas and into Missouri, parts of Oklahoma, and strong thunderstorms, even severe thunderstorms in the yellow shaded category for today. Tomorrow's threat gets a little bit closer to us, but once again, it's not huge for us, at least just yet, but it still needs to be watched. So something to keep an eye on there just to make sure that you're uh, available for that. And then flash flooding, again, not something we would want to see so soon on the heels of that drop in river levels coming on through. That's something we could be looking at into Saturdays. We get even more rainfall out there. So we're just not looking at anything in the way of really good news where it comes to this system coming on through the area. Uh, this next one moving on through. By tonight, the chances of showers and thunderstorms really start to ramp up this afternoon into this evening, I should say. And then more chances of showers and thunderstorms lifting into the Mid-South as we get into the weekend. So by Saturday and into Sunday, the dark green areas that you see, that's where we're looking at the possibility of even more rainfall coming on through, heavier rainfall, and those red hatched areas with the lines going across the screen, that shows again where the thunderstorms are going to be possible, and we've got a decent amount of rainfall heading back into the Mid-South as we go throughout the rest of the next couple of days. Into the rest of the day today, again, looking at temperatures very much on the warm side. If you're looking for those nice cool temperatures that we saw several for several weeks into parts of early spring, not going to be happening anymore. It looks like we're stuck back mainly in the mid to upper 80s. There's going to be some relief, but just not that much. Chances of showers and thunderstorms will be again across portions of the area. Best possibility will be in the dark shaded green up around northeast Arkansas, the Boot Hill, and eventually into northwestern areas of Tennessee. And chances of showers and thunderstorms will be across the area for today all the way into this afternoon, but that's going to be about the main thing. So outdoor graduation ceremonies tonight, may want to consider getting those move back in once again, if at all possible. Temperatures into tonight, mid to upper 60s to lower 70s, and that's going to be about it. Chances for rainfall are not going to be huge, but they will be out there again. More chances of rain and rumbles of thunder into tomorrow. And then high temperatures on Friday will be back into around the mid to upper 80s once again as we get into the possibility of seeing more chances of showers and thunderstorms out there. Mid to upper 80s for highs across the area, including the metro, and then chances of showers and thunderstorms mainly I-40 in north. That's going to be the best possibility of getting in these areas of activity to where we see, again, the potential for more showers and thunderstorms out there through Friday and unfortunately, right on into Friday night, although limited chances possible Friday night, lows Friday night right back around 70 degrees. And as we get into Saturday, temperatures will be back again in the mid to upper 80s with chances of showers and thunderstorms really starting to ramp up as we get into the afternoon and evening. So 60% chance west of the river back to the east of the Mississippi. That's where we see less of a chance, but all that rain crossing its way across the Mississippi River and getting more widespread into Saturday night. So again, if you have outdoor plans into the weekend, the umbrella, any rain protection would be a good idea. Showers and thunderstorms could be a possible problem out there right on into Saturday night and early Sunday morning. So definitely not a weekend to take the convertible out with the top down, unfortunately, because we see again the potential for uh, more rainfall right on into Sunday and high temperatures on Sunday back into the mid to upper 70s. Let's take a look and see what's going on with severe weather across the area. The main thing is going to be a major outbreak of severe weather taking place in the Plain States. Kansas, west of Wichita, all the way back to about Dodge City, and down to just west of Oklahoma City, a high risk. These things are rare, but when they happen, and they happen with, again, everything coming together, this could be a very serious outbreak taking place. So if you're 
traveling into or through this area of the country, this is going to be something to watch out for. You're going to have to pay attention to local media, know where your safe places are, know where to go to should something happen. Again, watching for severe weather, keeping your weather alert radio with you. If you've got one, would be a good idea just to stay tuned with what's going on because this is going to be a life-threatening situation. And if you're going into this, you need to be prepared for that. Now, for us in the Mid-South area, you can see those showers starting to pop up on the radar just to the right of all that severe weather forecast uh, area zones out there. We don't have much of anything going on at this time. We're not even in a marginal threat category. We do still stand the possibility of thunderstorms today, but nowhere near what they're going to get out west. Tomorrow's threat gets a little bit closer to us. Again, we're going to be seeing that marginal threat mainly roughly north of I-40 in the metro area, so northwest Tennessee and northeast Arkansas will be seeing the prime threat for that. Now, the good news for us is for Friday, that's going to be about it. The marginal threat goes into the weekend and overspreads the Mid-South. And that's where we see, again, those possibilities of some thunderstorms out there becoming possibly severe. So this is something we will be watching into the weekend. And keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more information on that. But as of right now, the good news is we don't have anything in the way of watches or warnings taking place. If you want to see more about what all this is about, go to the Storm Prediction Center. You can go to weather.gov, click on Severe Weather, and it'll take you directly to this page for more information. And again, if you know anybody out into around the area of the Kansas Plains, west of Wichita, south of I-70, and north of I-40 in Oklahoma, west of Oklahoma City. That's where we're going to be seeing, again, that big possibility. It's not a huge area, but when you see a high risk like that, that's major. That is really, really big news that this is a going to, again, be uh, the possibility of some life-threatening weather out that direction. So definitely want to keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that and everything else going on across much of the area. We'll do our best at this time. We don't really have uh, anything coming up in the way of astronomical type stuff. We'll try to get something organized for our Skyblog program if you want to know more about astronomy. But unfortunately, with the clouds that you see kind of between the trees behind me uh, and the chances of showers and thunderstorms increasing, it's doubtful that we're going to be seeing too much of anything in the way of astronomically related stuff. So we'll do our best to put something on there. But unfortunately, there's not going to be a good amount of stargazing going on for later on tonight. Stay tuned to News Channel 3 for updates throughout the rest of the afternoon and evening. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, something you would like to see on here, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Email address down here, a little difficult to see, but that's the way it is. And you can also find it again at wreg.com slash weather. Live and direct from out and about in parts of central Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onic. Stay tuned for more coming up with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the morning. Todd Demers has more on Live at 9 and on News at Noon. And Jim and Tim have more for you coming up tonight on News Channel 3, first at 4 and following. Thanks for joining me for today's latest update of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.